Okay, I'm hoping this is working. Let's find out if it is. Yes, it is. Good, good, good. All right. So this is one second. This is a little project that I've been working on for a few years in Minecraft. Um, this is uh, my own little kind of recreation of Banana Pie Lord's Banana Fort from his Minecraft playthrough uh, that he did many years ago, like in 2011, I'm pretty sure. So it's been a while since that uh, playthrough. Um, yeah. Uh, I've always been a fan of this dude since I first watched him on YouTube. Um, honestly, I don't remember. I want to say he might be the first person I watched on YouTube, but there's also another uh, another channel that I'm pretty sure could also be that. I don't know. I don't remember. But I've been watching this guy since 2011, since his Minecraft playthrough. So, you know, I, I've always loved this guy. And, and the reason why I'm doing this is because recently he uh, came back and did a few streams uh, and played some games. And he played Minecraft again. And somebody uh, gave him uh, his original C Cove world file, which I'm I, I'm going on assuming that you know you know and you, you know who he is and you've watched him. Um and also gave him some kind of recreation of his world. Well uh that recreation he got wasn't all that good. This is um well I mean I don't wanna be that kind of guy and just like put someone else down but there's not a whole lot to it. This thing I've been working on for a few years so you know I've had a lot of time on it. But this is like my kind of recreation of it. I'm gonna probably plan on releasing this soon, um, so people can download it and look at it. Um, there's a some crap in here. Read the book, you know. That's for later. Um, but yeah, this is my recreation of his banana fort. Now this is not one to one at all. This is nowhere near one to one. But I did take a. Uh, majority of what he made and dealing with what I have here in this this landscape that I had I recreated most of the areas that were in his banana fort to fit this you know area that we're in here and I did most of this out of muscle memory because his videos have been private for a long time now I haven't been able to watch them recently someone did re-upload them but I've been working on this like a few years before that his playthroughs were re-uploaded. So, yeah, if you've uh, watched his stuff, then you know that sign challenges are a thing. Um, I did most of the sign challenges. I recreated most of them, putting them around where they're supposed to be. Again, this is obviously not a one-to-one -one recreation. I can't do that because I, that world was made in alpha. There's no way I can do it. But I've done my best to take the areas from his banana fort and rework them in my own imagination to fit this uh, this place that we're in here. So a few of these areas might seem memorable or memorable or familiar if you watched his playthrough before. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna talk uh, and walk around through here so you can see everything. Um, I don't remember when I started working on this. I want to say 20, 2016, maybe 2017. I don't remember. Hell, it could even be as early as 2015. I really don't know. Um, but I've been working on this world for a while. And when I first made it, the whole point was to kind of replicate the banana fort. So, you know, I made my own little kind of recreation of it. There's a lot of stuff here that I also made myself. You know, a lot of the stuff is custom made, but uh, the main banana fort itself is, it was it was based off of his uh, his original banana fort, which I very like. Aside, <clears throat> aside from knowing, you know, a few of the areas by you know memory, that um. Yeah, obviously it might be missing a few areas, but I had a rough idea of what it looked like. Um, the thing is, though, that I made this world on my PS3 a long time ago because uh, back in the back in the day, I didn't have 
a good computer so I couldn't run Minecraft that well. So I did this on my PS3 and after many 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 tries and a bunch of hard work I f managed to convert this uh, to PC. Um, of course that came at a cost. There are a few broken things like the nether in this world is completely broken. I don't really want to show it off. Um, maybe I'll throw in a clip at the end or something. But the nether is completely broken. Um, I built stuff in the nether, which works fine on PS3, but the nether, you know, it is just busted when it was converted. Also, that means, um, there's a few other busted stuff, like the chests here. You know, they're supposed to... Water? I don't know what that water is. Um, there's supposed to be chests here, but, as you can tell, all the chests became invisible, which sucks, and all the signs became invisible. So I had to remake all the sign challenges um, the best I could. What's back here, huh? I don't know. Um, but we're just going to leave that there. But yeah, uh, I did my best to uh, to fix everything that got messed up. Uh, I know there was one chunk that got completely broken. Um, and I had to com not completely rebuild it, but I had to do some f fixing for it. Like I had to... to you know, bleh, oops. I had to, had to fix it. I'll show you what I mean here. So the nether's completely broken. The stairway to heaven, um, originally when I made it, um, it, because the Minecraft worlds on, on old consoles are pretty small. Uh, so when I was making it, this was at the bottom right of the map. Um, and when I was making the stairway here, it ended up hitting the end of the map, and I had to just cut it off, which sucked. But, um, yeah, there it is. Uh, I also included the old underwater banana fort. Um, now I'm forgetting what I was trying to talk about. I was trying to talk about how, um, the stairway got glitched out when I converted it and had to rebuild the whole thing. Um, but it's about exactly how it was on the PS3 version of the world. Another broken thing is this area here. Um, which is the banana express? Why is there? This shouldn't be in here. I'll go kill those later. But for now, we need to go down here, and I can show you what I'm talking about. How uh, stuff became a little busted. This whole chunk uh, here was broken, and I had to repair everything. So I've added um a door here that you can go and see that you know. It was just completely broken. Like, the entire chunk was missing, and it was filled with water. And I wrote some stuff here explaining what happened. But, uh, the entire thing was filled with water, and I had to drain it and fix it. But I replaced everything. It's all good now. Um, but yeah, there's a few notable things in this map, uh, that I've added myself. And that's, uh, let's fix the lighting here real quick. Um, one of those things is, uh, this, uh, I attempted to dig out four whole chunks of the map, uh, looking for materials. I only got one done completely, and only got like a, not even, I won't, I wouldn't even call it an eighth through this one before giving up completely. But, uh, you know, if you want to do that, go ahead and do that. Finish it for me, because I, I doubt I ever will, seriously. This took me w way too long to do, but. I did do it. Um, and there's a little mine cart that goes back into the fort. There's a few other things, like this beautiful... Um, yeah. Uh, stuff like this here. I don't know what's up with this. Looks kinda cool, actually. You know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play, I'm gonna fix that. That's, that's neat. I'm gonna keep that there. But yeah, there's, um, this glass building. I don't exactly remember, but I remember him building some kind of glass thing in his playthrough, so I kind of redid that here. I don't know where the hell it was. I know it was in a desert, though. Uh, there's a cactus farm. But yeah, it's a pretty beautiful place here. What do we got? This natural lava I accidentally found. I just put some glass over it. Looks pretty neat. Um, around here, there is is where the, the map actually ended it. If you look, you can see that this is where the... Um, Originally, the world ended on PS3. Uh, since I converted this and put it into an existing world, uh, there's a few bits of land out there that you could probably explore. 
to find yourself. All four corners of the map have this, um, have signs here, you know, showing where you are, Banana Land, uh, what corner of the map you're in. Um, yeah. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool, I guess. I mean, not personally, I love that I did this, because i just, I'm, you know, I, I miss that dude, man. When he made his videos and all. And he's still around. He still makes some really good music. You know, and I enjoy his music too. So, he does, you know, he does stuff still. He's not completely off the internet or anything. He didn't completely disappear. But, you know, Dylan, Banana Pie Lord, whatever you want to call him, he, he's still around. So, that's awesome. Even if he's not playing games, uh, you know, as his main thing. Uh, but he recently has been streaming, so. Yeah. But, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much all I got to say about the uh, the map here. Um, yeah, this is a, my little re kind of recreation of it that I made on my PS3 many years ago, so, yeah. Hope you uh, enjoyed my little kind of crappy tour. There's a lot more to this map than, than what I showed. There really is a lot more. Um, and you can probably explore it yourself if I ever uh, release this to the public, which I probably will. Uh, and, like, set up a download for it so you can use it. This is on... Bedrock, currently only Bedrock, Windows 10, um, uh, the Windows Windows 10 uh, Pocket Edition, and, you know, that, like, you know, Bedrock Edition of Minecraft, uh, or you can cross-play and all that. I'll, I'm going to see if I can convert it to Java, and hopefully without breaking all the science and stuff again. Um, and I probably will include the original PS3 world as well into the... Uh, into that, and I'll also, if I do release this, I'm going to include a version of the map where you can see the landscape itself before I actually did all this work to it, so you can see the original world. I want to point out that I did dig out like a quarter of this mountain just to make this glass uh, thing here for the the glass wall that he made. Um, but yeah, most of this stuff is about where it should be, I guess, so yeah. And that incinerator is supposed to be in the corner, but, you know, I dig this wood there. And All right, now I'm, now I'm dragging on. Stop it, stop it, stop it. So, yeah, thank you for watching this little tour, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you.